As French President Emmanuel Macron is holding a press conference. Let's have a listen. Instruments. Um, to invest in the European Commission Global Gateway, as it's known, serving this agenda. We spoke about innovation at the meeting. No, we're convinced that we must move a lot faster. For the time being, it's too soon. No decision has been several voices speaking out, some against, others to operate more conventionally. It's true, as we see the geopolitical situation in the Western uh, Balkans with uh, Moldova and Ukraine justify um, an overarching approach and that we can have a European Union that's built on the basis of shared projects or policies rather than conventionally as we've done thus far. And what's your assessment of the current situation? I think we need really to uh, focus on this joint approach, but I'm very much that we should set out an ambitious, credible and uh, specific uh, goal. Of course, this is a, a very um, strong decision taken by the um, Nobel Committee, um, crowning a woman who's really devoted her life in, uh, to human rights, who's currently in prison, and France um, welcomes that decision, and we'd like to express our solidarity and say to that to her family who lives in France. As you know, it's a very strong decision for a freedom fighter who's really faced the reality and the cruelty and um, of that regime that has uh, suffered many years in, of imprisonment and harsh penalties. And no, no, the final declaration wasn't uh, blocked. They expressed around the table um, the disagreement that they'd previously expressed at minister, but it's not going to block a decision that um, is under the qualified majority that's very measured and um, allows us to move forward very practically. But the, uh, the statement the president will, but there'll be a, a statement by the presidency. Our role is, first and foremost, to set out a shared strategies, to agree on it, and then to take decisions and not to be f fetishist and make uh, statements on decisions that have been taken. What can you expect from the Germans and the um, electricity market? Well, we're expecting from Europe to be able to move forward on this front. I uh, had occasion. We managed after the beginning of the war to diversify our energy sources, reduce our dependency of Russia on gas. Um, France was supported. Looking at the figures, uh, Europe is remaining dependent on an energy that's a lot more costly than other areas of the world. To produce the lowest carbon energy and free circulation of electricity, to use that power to consume, that's a, we mustn't waste uh, any time in, I would say, focusing on details or divisions. Our struggle is geopolitical. It's good to produce power with renewable power, with nuclear power. In both cases, these are electrons in Europe with carbon-free, the advantage of nuclear, it's non-intermittent. I'm hopeful we'll reach an agreement. Common sense must never be the enemy of strategy. And you said that if the agreement wasn't found, you'd find a national solution by the end of October. What do you mean? Well, France, of course, has the possibility of forging its strategy, and my um, will is that we should uh, forge an agreement at 27 on the electricity market. That's what we'll do. And then there are matters that uh, for the nation of its production capacity, we'll take those measures. The kind for you to go to the Middle East, especially in Iraq, or to write a to ask the leaders 
sitting on the table and to fix because right now there are so many crises economy, politically. Uh, you know how much uh, attached we are to the stability of the region. We launched three years ago this Baghdad conference precisely to help. I mean, to, to back the Iraqi sovereignty, but to work on the stability of the whole region in the current context. So we will follow up. I hope we will manage to organize a third conference. I will be there with all the leaders of the region, from Turkey to Egypt, uh, the Gulf, uh, Iraq, uh, Iran, and so on. And, and I do hope we will um, we'll follow up. Our idea is to build concrete projects in terms of interconnection, is to work closely to protect the sovereignty of each member, and as well, precisely, to help to fix this issue, creating so th this phenomenon of migration you mentioned. A word to conclude for President Zelensky and the Ukrainian people. Yesterday, I was able to report on our discussions, but we've all learned them. The terrible attack against civilian populations that occur. I'd like to restate our solidarity with the Ukrainian people, our respect for its courage, and our thoughts are with all the families of the civilians who fell victim once again to this Russian attack. Thank you.